solving a word problem with three unknowns using my linear equation. It says the sum of three numbers is 75. The third number is three times the second. The first number is five less than the second. What are the numbers? So I have my first number, my second number, and my third number. So I'm just going to use an F and S and a T. That way I know which is which. The sum of my three numbers is 75. So sum, I'm going to add up my three numbers. F plus S plus T equals 75. The second sentence says the third number is three times the second. So the third number, T, is three times the second. How would I show that? Three S's. And then the third sentence says the first number is, so F equals five less than the second. How would I show five less than the second? S minus five, S minus five right? The second one minus five, if I'm doing five less than something, goes on the end. So these ones are going to solve by using substitution. We're going to replace the T with three S's, and we're going to replace the F with S minus 5. Now they probably put parentheses around everything, but since I'm adding, I really don't need them. So I'm going to have S minus 5 plus the S in the middle plus 3 S's equals 75. So there's my first, there's my second, there's my third. Combining my like terms then, over there on that left side of my equation, I would have what? So combine that other S in there. So I have one S, one S, and three S's, which would be? Two S minus five plus three S. <laughs> so two S plus three S? Five S. Five S minus five equals 75. Might as well put them all together at the same time, right? <laughs> Solving that then, I would add my five. So 5s is going to equal 80, and if I take 80 and I divide it by 5, I'm going to get, what was that? 16. 16. So the second one is 16. Do you want to do the third or the first one? Okay, we'll do the first one. The first one is 5 less than my second one, so 5 less than 16 would be 11. And my third one was 3 times the second one, so 3 times 16 would be 48. And if I did the sum of all of my numbers and I added the 11 plus the 16 plus the 48, I should get a sum of 75, right? If I want to double check myself. So 17 says, Karen, Jim, and Ryan sent a total of 136 text messages during the weekend. Jim sent four times as many messages as Ryan. Karen sent eight fewer messages than Ryan. How many messages did they each send? So we'll use K for Karen, J for Jim, and R for Ryan just so we know who's who. So if Karen, Jim, and Ryan sent a total of 136 text messages, how can I write that equation? K plus J plus R equals 136. My second sentence, Jim sent four times as many messages as Ryan. How do I write that equation? J equals 4R, right? Jim sent, so J is going to equal four times as many as Ryan, so J equals 4R, exactly. Karen sent eight fewer messages than Ryan, so that equation would be? J equals R minus eight. Exactly. Eight fewer than Ryan would be R minus eight, so K equals R minus eight. 
So again, they're going to solve that by substitution. We're going to replace the J with four R's, and we're going to replace the K with R minus eight. So we have R minus eight plus four R plus another R equals 136. So combining all our like terms over there on the left side, we would get what? r minus 8 equals our 136. So in order to solve that, we are going to add our 8. So 6r equals 142. Add that again. 144. And then we're going to divide by 6. r equals So that must mean Ryan sent 24 text messages. How many messages did Karen send? 16. 16, because she did 8 fewer than that, so 24 minus 8 is 16. And how about Jim? Ninety-six. Four times as many, so four times the twenty-four. And again, if you'd want to double check that, if you add all those together, you should get a total of one thirty-six. Last one on this page. Rachel, Charlie, and Bob served a total of ninety-four orders Monday at the school cafeteria. Bob served three times as many orders as Rachel, Charlie served nine more orders than Rachel. How many orders did they each serve? So we'll use R, C, and B. So Rachel, Charlie, and Bob served a total of 94 orders Monday. Our equation would be? Everybody all at once. R plus C plus B equals 94 orders, right? Bob served three times as many orders as Rachel. My equation for that would be? B equals 3R. B equals 3R. Three times Rachel. And Charlie served nine more orders than Rachel. So my equation would be? C equals R plus 9 or 9 plus R, since we have the commutative property, that order doesn't matter, but I like the plus 9 on the end, so that's where I'm going to put it. <laughs> so, substituting in. And for the B, we're going to have 3R, and for the C, we're going to have R plus 9. So, R plus R plus 9 plus 3R equals 94. So, combining my like terms on that left side, I'm going to get... 5R plus 9 equals 94. I've got to subtract my 9. So 5R is going to equal 85. And if I divide by 5, R equals 17. 17. So Rachel served 17 orders. Bob, how many did Bob do? 51. 51. 3 times 17 would be 51. Whoops, I had better put that in Bob's spot. And how many did Charlie do? 26. 17 plus 9. Questions on any of those? 